Good morning. It is time to skip the BS. It's time for Undisputed. It's time for me and Keyshawn Johnson to decide if LeBron's Lakers, with the 11th best odds to win the West, can and will get to the NBA Finals, even if they run into the defending champ Nuggets, their nemesis in the first round. The Lakers did win Friday night in Memphis, barely, then yesterday in New Orleans, dominantly, and now as the eighth seed, they're staying in New Orleans for another game against the Pelicans. This one, a 7-8 play-in game. Win and the Lakers get the Nuggets in the first round. Yep, the same Nuggets who swept them in last year's conference finals and who have won eight straight against the Lakers. Anthony Davis did suffer some back spasms late in yesterday's game, but he and Darvin Ham say he should be fine for Tuesday night, which is mostly why the Lakers are favored by one point. If they lose, they'll get a second chance in L.A. against the winner of Golden State at Sacramento, the 9-10 game played right after the Lakers 730 Eastern game on TNT tomorrow night. Now that we got all that straight, good morning, Keisha. Good morning, Skip. How are you, sir? Good. And happy playoffs to you and your Lakers. <laughs> play so, in. Happy play in. Happy, happy play in. So after what you saw on Friday night and what you saw yesterday, scale of one to ten, how much do you like your Lakers chances of winning the West? I would say a seven, and it increases as they continue to go. Okay. When you look at yesterday, I go to yesterday because Friday was several days. And, look, the Memphis game, Memphis came out to play. I think the Lakers may have taken it a little lightly, thinking that they were just going to lay you down. Mean the Memphis G League team that played on Friday night. <laughs> yes, that th team. That team. Yeah. The Lakers probably took them a little lightly, but they got out of there with a W, and that's they did. all that really matters. Yep. Now, yesterday, they played like they were supposed to play. Although Anthony Davis left the game, the game was in full control. When he hurt his back, we were in control. We never surrendered the league. It was always, we were just rolling. I mean, we're knocking down shots left to right. We were defending. We were playing. LeBron on Zion, neutralizing him in that situation. He so did. I, I just want to get to the Denver Nuggets. As all, I said this for... You said it. I've said it for a couple you, weeks you now. You wanted them early, not later. You want them early and yeah. not late. Because yeah. if you look at it, and you go back a couple weeks, Skip, the Lakers have been playing pretty good basketball. They went on a road trip. They went 5-1 and one on that road trip. Losing to the uh, – losing the long game that they Indy, lost was Indy. Indy. Yep. Okay, then they came home, and they kind of sort of took care of business at home. And then we went back on the road, and we took care of business on the road. Now, we stand on the road in New Orleans. There is no travel, so there's an extra day of care, so to speak, that you can give Anthony Davis to the spasm in his mm -hmm. back. Whatever they might do, whether it's massage or ultrasound or shock treatment, whatever it is that he needs the rest, yeah. he doesn't have to get on a plane. So he'll be in a hotel room getting the necessary 24-hour care that he needs. Now you take care of the Pelicans, and now Denver drops in your lap. And you sit there, and everybody, I'm just listening to, as they like to call it, the pundits out there in the world. Yeah. It's, it's almost like it's a Laker-LeBron hate. Like, they want the Lakers to run from the Denver Nuggets. They, it, oh, you should drop down to the AC so maybe you get the OKC instead. Nobody's, they're not manipulating it like that. You mess around and you lose messing around talking about, well, we want to avoid Denver. No, we're fresh. This is not the Western Conference final of a year ago. Even LeBron James in his post game yesterday, because I typically don't listen to post game. Game's over, I turn and move on to something else. But for some reason, I was waiting around for the Dodger game to come on, so I was listening to LeBron in the post game, And he talked about feeling a lot better this time body-wise. He did. He made time. that statement. He volunteered. Yes. I feel better than yes. I did a year ago right now. Yes. Okay. So when I heard that, first thing I did, my ears just shot up. said, okay, yep. see, this is what I'm talking about, Skip. Okay. Getting to Denver is the most important thing not avoiding Denver. Mm -hmm. I understand that they beat us eight consecutive times. and all. That's cool. But they didn't beat us eight consecutive seven-game series. They yeah. beat us in one-offs. Yeah. Now let's see if we can play better than we did the last six or so minutes of the games in last year's Western Conference Final against Denver. I like our chances, though. We get past Denver. Then we, we, we get past Denver. Now you got them Suns or, them, or the Minnesotas, the Clippers, the Mavs, and even the Thunder. Denver is supposed to be our nemesis. If we get past them, you can cash our check. We're going to the finals. Really? 
Okay, Absolutely. that's it. Done deal. So you're saying if we get the, past the, Denver, the conference finals would effectively come first. Yes. Right. Yes, that is correct. Because then you'd get the winner of Dallas and the Clippers. Mavericks have been the hottest team in the NBA. You sure about that one? But I think one? the Clippers. But I think the Clippers will beat the Mavs. And okay. For whatever reason, this season we own the Clippers. This season, and I don't think we will be, you know, because you got to think. We're going to have, well, they'll have they'll have home court advantage because they got the better seed if we see the Clippers, right, in the seven-game series. But guess what, Skip? Okay. It's really not their home. It'll it be not. our home. Yep. Even in the home games, for them, it it'll be, be Laker fans, okay? Agreed. <laughs> it'll be Laker fans. And by the way, yesterday in New Orleans, it looked like a Laker home game to me because all the seats I could see down close – Oh, at Laker least fans. half of them were, at least half were Laker fans. I never seen anything like it, and I'm going to assume Tuesday night will be even more pro Lakers because this one really counts. Not well, that that star, one didn't. star power brings a lot okay. of that out. So I want to point out that Keyshawn Johnson, lifelong Laker fan, growing up out here in Los Angeles, just said that Denver will then drop in your lap. That's how you put that. Drop in your lap. Yeah. We're not running from. Okay, if the Nuggets are watching, we're going to drop in your lap. Not that you're not going to drop in our lap because no. they've won eight straight games against you. Okay. You good cool. with that? I'm okay, but that those games are in the regular season or la, or you count you count regular season, you count into the Western all, Conference. All. Yeah, the Western Conference final was a year ago, Skip. LeBron James out of his own mouth, as you just said, said he's a whole lot better than he was That's what at he this said. point a year ago. Okay. You gotta take the man for it, you gotta take him for his word. You can't just Say, well, that's just what he's saying to be saying it. Okay. You don't think Mike Malone has listened to that and was like, oh, okay, I'm your daddy. Okay. That's what he said. Okay. He said that. And you, don't think, and you don't think LeBron remembers that? They better remember that, but they didn't remember it during the regular season this year because they wreaked no revenge. And the last time they played on March the 2nd out here in Los Angeles, it was same song, eighth verse, because I saw it happen again. Lakers are up. Two points with four minutes left, and Denver goes on a crazy run. What was it down the stretch? They, they won by 10 points, so they just blew them off the floor over the last four minutes. It happened again. It happens every time I watch these two teams play. Nobody for the Lakers can close. LeBron, who named somebody, Austin Reeves, AD, nobody can close. All right. I want to speak on what I saw yesterday at New Orleans because New Orleans was coming off a huge win at Golden State on Friday night that put them in position to knock off the Lakers and move up another seed, move out of the play-in. Keyshawn, I know you watched yesterday. Your team looked like the best team I've seen all year yesterday. In that one game, in that one building against that team, you annihilated the New Orleans Pelicans, who of late have played high-level quality basketball. It was a mismatch. You, you dominated the way I'm, I haven't seen many teams dominate all year, including the Celtics. And this was a game that really mattered, obviously, to both teams. What I saw was LeBron James said, OK, watch this. Because to your point, he came out and took Zion. And LeBron's much taller than Zion. He's at least three, maybe four inches taller. Yeah, you know, uh, Zion's like six, five ish, six, six ish, maybe. I might give him six, six, maybe. But obviously, LeBron doesn't weigh as much, but LeBron is as strong as Zion is. The or baby it doesn't bull. look like he weighs no, as much. No, it, it doesn't. But, but the point was, he took Zion completely out of the game, and he didn't have him every trip down the floor, and he had some help. But Keyshawn, he held Zion, who usually makes like 70% of his shots, to four of 13. Are you kidding me? To 12 points? And AD came out and annihilated Valanchunas so badly that very quickly Willie Green just said, I've seen enough of that. He only played, what, seven, seven minutes. minutes and said, I'm going to go small ball and see if you guys can compete with my small ball. And yes, they could. So what am I seeing from your team? I'm seeing a team that can flip the switch to me in ways no other team can flip that switch. And we saw it one other time this year. And it was at the silly little in-season tournament. You want to raise the banner. You're okay with raising the banner. And, and that's fine. That's cool. But you saw what they did when LeBron said, let's flip the switch. They just went out and slaughtered everybody, including Indiana, 
they suffocated defensively in the quote unquote championship game of the first ever in season tournament. And LeBron, another little feather in his quote unquote goat cap, he won the first one. Yes. And to me, I saw that same team yesterday because I saw AD go 13 of 17 from the floor. I saw him go 30 points and 11 rebounds, and he didn't play, as we know, the last six or so minutes. Yeah. So what was your level of shock or concern when all of a sudden he goes down on the floor and can't get up with back? Well, I, I, I try to figure out when he hurt his back because the pick – and he rolled out of that, that. It was that like that it. couldn't. No. He didn't step wrong or no. anything. And I, so did, I, I saw little to no contact on the. No, no. Like, he touched him on the back. So yeah. as time went on, and I started thinking and looking, and and then they showed a replay. They did. Uh, during the the post game, James Worthy and, mm -hmm. and D Fish showed yes. a, a. And I don't know who it we, was, but we somebody have this. We have somebody right pushed him in the there back a little it's bit. It's Larry Nance Jr. So I thought, yeah. well, maybe okay. maybe he came down kind of awkward yeah. right there. But he falls awkward anyway all the time. So yeah. maybe that was it where he initially hurt it because he didn't sprint back on defense. Yeah. He kind of, you know, took his time to get back on defense. So maybe that's when he hurt it. Well, that's the first what he thing, said. So the first thing I thought of was, damn, here we go again with this dude. That was really all I could say. I'm sure most people... How many times Lakers, have you said that on this show? A lot. A but thousand? that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Most people that was watching the game that are Laker fans, or even not Laker fans, just watching the game and sitting there going... Here we go man, again. Here we go again with this well, dude, man. Come what on, man. What the hell is wrong with you now? Come on. And as he was moving gingerly, I didn't know if it was his back or his foot or ankle or what. And then once he started squatting down, I'm like, okay, it's his back. So that means that he's got some spasms or he's got some discomfort back there. And they'll figure out what to do with him, he won't play the rest of the day. Now, obviously, if he doesn't play, it's going to be harder for us to win this game. There's no question about it on okay, Tuesday but, night against the Pelicans. he and Darvin Ham said, no problem. He no, will it's not, play. No, yeah. of course. They got all, I've had spasms before, and they got some stuff that'll okay. get rid of the spasms real quick. All right, so AD said after the game, and he did a long interview, and usually if you're hurt, hurt, you, yeah. you don't even stay for the media. But he stayed, and he seemed in a pretty good mood. And yet he said that Larry Nance Jr., former teammate, or wait, did he cross Larry Nance's? I didn't even look this up. Did they cross paths? He's a former Laker, obviously, but maybe he was no, gone. He was gone no, before. He was gone. Okay. JaVale okay, McGee. That's right. JaVale and Dwight Howard was his backup. Okay, so here's the point. AD said it was a dangerous play for him to give him a yes, little shove absolutely. in the back. When you're in the air like that, Skip, no one should touch you. Okay. And yet he said Larry Nance Jr. is not a dirty player in his view. So yes, it was a dangerous play by a non-dirty player. Yeah. Okay, it's not the biggest deal if we could see that one. Well, it is time. a big deal, yeah. Skip, because I'm in the air. And when you when you touch me and I'm in the air, you you then yeah. change the way that I'm the way that I'm jumping. You you just a little bit of a push in the back makes me go in a different direction than what I want to. And he came down kind of I can't of get all funny. worked up about it. That's just me. But I grew up through the 70s and 80s basketball. You can't, can't do it, though, Skip. When you're okay. in the air, you can't touch so it. So he said, AD said, I hyperextended, which he did a bit, where you yeah, bow you back, you yeah. go backwards, right? And for whatever reason, his back started to catch. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, he's got a little spasm. He's had trouble with his hip, too. So I don't know if it was a hip spasm or a flat-out back spasm, but whatever. They described it as a back spasm but they also described it as no big deal. So I'm going to trust that it's no big deal. It, it, it doesn't right. seem like it's a big deal. All right. Like I said, there's things that'll get rid of that real fast. <clears throat> All right. I want to I want to deal with this. I want to get it out in the middle of the table right here, right now, because this is a big deal to me. LeBron did say he feels better than he did this point. Last year, we yes. got it. But I want to point out, for any player who played 70 or more games this year, LeBron James actually averaged the most per game minutes of any of those players who played 70 plus games. Okay. He's at 35.6 minutes, 35.6 minutes. Okay, so the point is he played 41 the other night at Memphis because they felt like they needed to win, which they did, or they were gonna fall back nine or 10, you know, maybe even to 10. And Okay, I got it. He closed strong against Memphis, but they're playing nobody. They got no starters left out there. They're guys that we'd never basically heard of, right? And 
and yet he had to come back off 41 minutes and play 38 yesterday at well, he didn't have to play. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, we At were Pelicans. We right. were up by twenty in the fourth quarter. Right, but he just plays. Okay, is this a good news or bad news for the Lakers? That that in, <laughs> wait a second. At age thirty nine and year twenty one, he averaged for those who played seventy more games the most minutes in the. Are you kidding me? I, but he can handle it though, Skip. This well, is can the thing. he? Yes, this is the thing that I, I'm talking about. It's almost like people want to see. LeBron James and the Lakers fail. He can handle it. He wouldn't be on the court if he couldn't handle it. Okay, but last no. year he couldn't handle it. And he said that he's in better, Go not ahead. better shape, but he feels better this year than he did last year. So let's take that and go, okay. So clearly something was wrong with him, whether it was his foot, his ankle, his hip, whatever it was a year ago, it's much better now. But I kept hearing he ran out of gas against Denver in the 4-4 four, four well, quarters last year. Of course he did. Okay, well, is he going to run out of gas this no, year? No, he won't run out of okay. gas. No, Whoever he won't. they, if they get past Denver and no, get to won't. the conference finals, no, he is he, he going to run out of gas no. No, against whoever that might be? No, you want him to run out of gas. I don't. I, so I, you I, can say, oh, no. here he is again, $2 no. million dollars spent on his uh, body. I, I actually picked him to win, but I had, silly me, I, I had it in my view that that they would actually manage his minutes and get him fresh it's, for it's the postseason. It's hard to manage min minutes with great players that want to play. It's just hard. No matter right. what sport it is, you try to pull back and they continue to keep going. He okay. obviously can handle it, though, Skip. Okay, can he? Because then the, the excuse of ran out of gas is off the table now, right? Is that fair? You, you, can we throw it out? Well, I got to see what he looks like. <laughs> well, you saw yesterday what no, he no, looks like. No, I'm talking like. about in the Western Conference Finals. I need to see what he looks like. In well, the you, well, you're Conference saying Finals. this is good, though, that he it's played all It's good as minutes. of right now. Okay. It's good as of right now. So does, it admit that he want, does it mean that he won't exert so much energy in this next three rounds that when he gets to the Western Conference Final, then all of a sudden he just fatigued? Does it mean that? Okay. But as of right now, Would you, would you he's feel fine. better if he had averaged 30 minutes instead of 36 minutes No, again? because he can, he can get fatigued. In the Western Conference Final, if they Off make it again. Minutes? He could still get fatigued, though. Skip, it, okay. it doesn't matter because he's only playing 30 minutes a game average. But when you get to a playoff and you play in six and seven games, and that energy level, it's a lot of fatigue. It is. Your mentals, that's fatigue, man. That wears on you. It doesn't mean that all of a sudden, just because he's playing 30 minutes, that he's going to be as fresh as ever. That, that's not what it means. So you're holding on to the excuse in your back pocket just in case he There's no, out. There, there is no excuse. We need to see him play before we could just say 39 <laughs> minutes is going to allow, what, you said 35 a game? You said It's, it's almost 36. Yeah, 36, 36. Let's call it 36 yeah. minutes a mm -hmm. game yeah. is going to be an excuse at the end when if, in fact, they get to the Western Conference Final. <sighs> what if he, what, what if, which, which, as you like to say, knock on wood, that the Lakers lose to Denver, and he, legs, doesn't look the same way they looked all year long. We're going to say, well, we played him in too much? In the first round, you're talking about. Yeah, in about. the first round. Are we going to say that, or are we going to say going to Denver in that altitude, playing and hustling and running up and down the court, that he is just tired and fatigued because now he's playing 39 minutes up in Denver or 40 minutes up in Denver or 41 minutes up in Denver? I'm done with the excuse. There's I've no, seen it, enough. No, I've seen enough. He should be just fine from here on. There should be no question it, of fatigue. It, 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 it feels that way based on what he said in his post-game presser. It feels that he should be okay, Skip. There's no question about it. But there is something called let's watch the games and see what happens. We got to watch the game. <laughs> Yeah, but it's up to you to tell me what's going to happen. No, it's not up to me because I don't know. I'm not oh. in his body. Well, I as do of right know. Now, as of right now, he's fine. Okay, I know what I know. There's no tired excuse left. You're done. You showed us. You did that. So are you telling you, you me. You played more minutes than anybody so you, who played 70 well, plus games. Well, you can games. tell me with your perfect eyesight that what you watched in the Western Conference Final last year, he did not look fatigued and tired. No. He just looked like he was losing it. He looked like he often does trying to close games against good teams. He shot 7 of 23 because he just wasn't very good against Denver. He shot 1 of 10 from 3 because he just wasn't very good against Denver. You know Denver. you need your legs to shoot. 
No, it, it, come on, stop it. He, come on, stop it. He, he's to he, blow past people. You've on, made the case he's on the greatest dri on player dribble ever. drives to go past people. You need your legs. You need your energy. Oh, come on. When they sag it off on you because they feel like you with them and you have no legs, you're gonna miss shots. Skip. Yeah. yeah. When you come up on me and I I cannot go past you stop. and I'm bigger and stronger than you because I'm fatigued and my legs are shot. He's LeBron bleeping James. There's no <laughs> fatigue level. Come on. I, oh my God! Man. Well, it's just ridiculous. How? You can't. I How? can't believe you're even trying to make the excuse for him. No, I'm he not wore making out. Them. Are you kidding me? You gonna sit here and tell me mm. in Game Seven? I mean, in in, 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 four? in, in, in the Western Conference yeah. Finals, in those four games, two in altitude, two in LA, mm -hmm. that you could not tell that he was wore. Down. No, I could. Uh, he looked like he was just gagging to me, and not from altitude, just from. <coughs> I'm choking, man. I'm choking. He had missed 19 straight fourth quarter three point shots. That's the all time playoff record for but, consecutive but you, but, misses. But you just said fourth quarter. The fourth mm -hmm. quarter is the end of the game, Skip. Yeah. Okay. That means that you had to play three quarters and run up and down the court to get to the fourth quarter. Okay. You're going to be tired, dog. Okay, or you tell me he smokes too many cigars and sips too much wine. I don't know. I don't get it. Because I thought he was the best conditioned athlete we've ever seen. Best conditioned athletes do get tired. Yeah, okay. They and, do. And by the way, I thought of you on Friday night. I started to text you, and then I thought, now nah, I'll just save it for the air. At the end of the game, he took over the game. He, he looked fresh to me in the fourth quarter against the G League Memphis Grizzlies. Okay. But it's at Memphis, and he closed with a big steal and a breakaway dunk. And could we see this dunk? This is the big yeah, steal. Yeah, the steal. The breakaway dunk. dunk. He did oh, like this. a reverse dunk or something. Well, I got this. Yeah. He anticipated. Whoa! That, that, that looked like a, dare I say, a contest dunk. He goes over and tells Ja all about it. I got this. I'm backpedaling because I got <laughs> did it. Did you really? I just won the so, dunk contest. So, Wait a second. He never he did a dunk already, contest. He never did a dunk contest. And all Skip, I hear is he's, he's Skip, a, he jumped two feet off the floor. A, man, he's not even in the he's, air. He's a power dunker. He's, he's a not, power dunker. He's that, not a contest dunker. Do you dunker. honestly think that dunk would get a good yeah, score? Yeah, I do. If LeBron oh, pulled man, it stop. off. Hey, ben barely got off the floor. Hey, if, if he had been 22 years old and done a dunk contest, he would have won it hands down. But apparently, he was afraid to do a dunk contest. First superstar ever. What did this ever. man do to you? First superstar ever. What did this ever. man no, do to you? No, that's not his. Did he? It wouldn't he? Help, help me out. Was he not the first superstar ever to say, I'm not doing the dunk contest? Regardless, what does that have okay. to do with him playing basketball? Okay. It has a lot to do because he showed you right there, oh, I could do the dunk contest. You right? think that dunk is going to yeah. get a score? Heck yes. From what? that? My yeah. God. Yeah, way to go. That was a normal dunk. I'm this up and under. It's and, a normal dunk. Ooh. He didn't even, he, there's nothing special the about that down. dunk. That he got off the floor this high. That would have been a 10. He went to talk to Ja because Ja was there. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> it's too I got you again, but I'm uh, sorry. I can't, I can't, man. <laughs> you know what? Keyshawn needs help. Keyshawn needs Rick Buecher to come in help. and have, have his back here because we got to talk about ass. SGA MVP. That's next.